Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Castro, and I work with Marketplace Ministry and community leaders who love Jesus and want to positively impact the world around them for the Lord's glory. And this vlog series has been called The Inner Peaceful leader. And it's because when you are connected to Jesus and you are abiding in him, you get that spiritual fruit of inner peace and it gets to carry you through any circumstance and open up the doors to lots of blessings and opportunities. And in order to remain a peaceful, inner peaceful leader, there are lots of things that you can do. And that's if you go back and you watch all my previous videos, just go to my uh, page and see them all. They're all listed there. You'll see that there are lots of ways to do that. And as I mentioned, when I started this conversation today, abiding in Jesus, spending time with Jesus is an essential way to maintain that inner peace that you need to lead your life well, to lead your business or work well, to lead any circumstance you're in well. And remember, leadership is not a role. It's not something that you are appointed to. It's not a title. It's how you live your life from a leadership perspective, a leadership authority, a leadership mindset. Because you're the only one that can lead your life, remember? <laughs> no one can lead it for you. So you don't have to be an official title leader to be a leader anyone is a leader especially in their own life and today i want to focus on john 15 1 to 5 and it says i am the real vine and this is jesus speaking in john i am the real vine and my father is the gardener every branch which is part of me but fails to bear fruit he cuts off and every branch that does not bear fruit, he prunes so that it may bear more fruit. Right now, because of the word which I have spoken to you, you are pruned. Stay united with me and I will with you. For just as the branch can't be forth, uh, excuse me, can't put forth fruit by itself apart from the vine, so you can't bear fruit apart from me. And if you think about it, as a leader, as a person who wants to be the best they can be, as a person who understands that growing is part of life and part of what makes life better, you always want to attach yourself to people who have either gone where you are going, been there before, have experience that you don't yet have, or who are just good, godly people that you can surround yourself with because you want like-minded people to be in your trusted advisor group. And I've spoken about this before in a previous uh, blog. But Jesus is your ultimate mentor, your ultimate guide, your ultimate source and resource for everything you ever need in life to be an inner peaceful leader, to maintain that inner peace. Remember, peace is a spiritual fruit. It's one of the things you get when you say yes to Jesus. Now, it may take you a little while to walk into it because we all have growth paths. I know, I keep saying, I know, I've been there. But inner peace is generated and you get more of it by spending time with Jesus. So my inner peaceful leader wisdom today, spend more time with Jesus. And please don't make the excuse that your schedule is too busy. Because if you truly love Jesus, he needs to be a priority in your life. You need to find time to fit him in because your life will run so much better with Jesus running it with Jesus as your foundation. One of the things, if you don't know this about Jesus, because he's God, he's above time. 
He's above circumstances. He is above everything, which means that he can redeem your time. He can make things happen way quicker than you could in your strength or anyone else could on this earth. So if you put him first, he will arrange every day that you're breathing in a way that meets your needs and meets his needs if you choose to partner with him. So spending time with him is actually the best strategic thing that you can do for your life, especially if you're a business owner or a business leader, because he knows what you need. He knows what's going to happen. He knows which employee that you might be leading is having a really bad day and is going to come into the office and not be functioning well. And he could prepare you for that. He could give you some insider discernment to go stop by that employee's <clears throat> excuse me, office and check in and see how they're doing. You might not know why, you just maybe feel led to go, but you wouldn't have felt that if you had not spent some time with Jesus to get that discernment. And that's my point. You can't just be walking around hoping that Jesus is going to talk to you. You actually have to stop and have a conversation. <laughs> It's like any relationship. Your friends aren't really your friends unless you maintain contact with them. And it doesn't have to be every day. I've got friends that I've had for decades and we might talk once a year, but you know what? We talk, we love each other. We connect in different ways. It's to maintain that friendship. And when I talk to them, I learn things and I hear things and I get to pray for things. It's because I spend time with them. I wouldn't have heard it otherwise. <laughs> so that is my wisdom today for being an inner peaceful leader. If you don't have peace in your life and you desperately want it, please call me. Set up a co coffee and conversation with me. If you want that inner peace, you can get it. I promise you, you can get it. Let's set up a time to talk and set up a program to help you refocus everything that you're doing on Jesus so that you can get that inner peace that you need to walk through whatever circumstances you're walking through right now. All right. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.